alaikum guys welcome back to our youtube channel so we hope that you guys are all doing well today's special topic is having good relationships with your siblings having siblings is a great blessing from allah but sometimes siblings can also be a great test or trial for some people some siblings get along very well together, while some siblings quarrel quite often amongst themselves. Even some prophets of God had children who wronged their own siblings, such as Prophet Adam Islam's son, Gabil, who committed the first murder of a human being, who was his own brother, Habil. Or when Prophet Yusuf Islam was betrayed by his own brothers. One of the biggest factors for causing sibling rivalry and quarrels is envy and jealousy, which plagued the heart of Kabil when he committed the great crime of murder against his own brother Habil. And the similar disease of envy and jealousy caused Prophet Yusuf Islam's brothers to plot against him. And we can learn from these stories and gain valuable lessons. That indeed, envy and jealousy are evil traits which destroy families and communities. We can learn from Prophet Yusuf Islam's amazing patience during his difficult times, his great resilience, his perseverance, and his dedication to God even during very difficult circumstances. And it is truly inspiring that Prophet Yusuf Islam forgave his siblings, even though his brothers betrayed him and, not, and caused not only him, but their parents much sadness and hardship. We can also learn from good examples of sibling relationships, such as Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, and the sister Bibi Zainab, who are the children of Ali ibn Abu Talib and Fatima bint Muhammad, peace be upon them all. These siblings experienced major hardships and difficulties, but always remained steadfast to Islam and to each other. These siblings were always there for each other, making them the perfect role models for sibling relationships, love and loyalty. It is very important for siblings to develop good relationships when they are younger and as they get older. And even if one sibling is blessed with something that the other sibling doesn't have, they should not get envious or jealous. Instead, they should pray to Allah and say, O oh Allah, please grant my siblings with even more blessings and goodness. And my Lord also grant me blessings and goodness too. We should remember that we are not perfect and occasional conflicts will occur. But we can overcome these with good conflict resolution methods. Brothers and sisters should learn to accept one another, learn positive things from one another and always be there for each other during difficult times. Most of all, siblings should support one another to become better human beings and become more righteous and strive hard to obtain success in this life and in the hereafter, inshallah. Alright guys, so now that we have briefly discussed why it is so important to develop positive sibling relationships, it is time for show and tell. I wonder what we'll see today. So here we have our beautiful show and tell bowl. But actually, since it is so important to develop good sibling relationships, why don't I show you guys a great and fun way to develop good sibling relationships that most people will enjoy. A tea party. Come on guys, let's go. Rahan Zainab. Yeah, Why don't you guys have a seat right here? Spending 
time with siblings is very important. But sometimes people have a favorite hobby or an activity that they really like to do. But a tea party is something that everybody likes to do. Right guys? So you guys can stay right here and I'm going to grab the food for the tea party and let's get this tea party started. Wow, doesn't this tea party look so beautiful and nice? Look at the food, it looks so colourful. Rahan, what would you like to eat? Okay, let me put it in your plate. And do you want some ketchup, mayo or chili sauce? Don't forget to say Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Zainab, what would you like to have? Cupcakes. You want a cupcake? Okay. This yellow one? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Zainab, remember to say Bismillah. Good job. Smell our fun, Rahim. Would you guys like a drink? Okay. Zainab, would you like a drink as well? Yes. Okay. Having a tea party is a great way to spend time with your siblings. You can sit down and you can learn table manners together. And at the same time, we can learn to be grateful to Allah for all the food that we have on our tables. Alhamdulillah. 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 <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're just going to be enjoying our tea party right now and until then, bye! See you later! Bye! Bye! bye. So we hope that you guys enjoyed that super fun and tasty tea party for show and tell. We think that having tea parties is the perfect way to bring siblings together. And now it is time to conclude our video with an inspirational quote. And what it says. So 
Over here we have our beautiful scroll and it says None of you believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Wow, this is a wonderful hadith from Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, which reminds us that our siblings are not our rivals, nor should we compete with them for worldly or materialistic things. Rather, we should help one another to obtain success in this life and especially in the hereafter, inshallah. So we hope that you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new from it. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like button and notification bell. Take care, peace be on to you and bye.